Hi there, it's Sharon Whiteman here. This is tip two in our top 10 tips for wellness. Um, and I'm coming to you from the Business and Wellness Hub, one of our sites that myself and my business partner, Steve Partos, have set up to connect with you um, about all kinds of wellness. You know, in this series, we're talking about health wellness, as you would have understood in, in tip one. And um, we'll be doing another series that's going to be talking more about lifestyle or, you know, our, our business and financial wellness as well, which is my secondary or I mean, who knows if it's primary, secondary, my other passion. That's why um, our site's called Business in Wellness, because they're both something that I get excited about and could stand on street corners and soap boxes or however what you want to talk about it, about either topic. So, um, and tip two today is all about um, taking enough action for long enough. So in tip one, we talked about what is wellness. We talked about it as, you know, not just being sickness or a lack of sickness, but of peak vitality and and a whole list of other um, uh, wellness experiences that would be different for each of us. And if you're choosing to move towards, remember we talked about that continuum where on one side the zero is death all the way to a hundred which was absolute peak, peak, peak wellness. What you're wanting to do from wherever your starting point is to integrate some wellness choices and some wellness lifestyle actions that you can do that will move you to more towards wellness from wherever you are right now. And I think a second tip that's most important for that is to take enough action for long enough. You know, personally, um, I think the first action to take would be to supplement your diet. I think that's something that's uh, no longer a question. It's no longer, you know, gee, is it necessary to supplement uh, over and atop of a good healthy diet? Uh, the, the answer is absolutely. You know, it is absolutely proven and it's common sense. I mean, t t blind Freddy, as they would say in Australia, could see, that's probably not a nice saying, but they could, you know, anyone with common sense can see that our food isn't as good as it used to be. So does it, if you add two and two, does that mean that our bodies are struggling? You know, absolutely. But this tip is about understanding how long it will take to move, to change wellness parameters and to set realistic and effective wellness goals. You, you know, no, it's quite different looking at wellness, looking at nutrition, looking at, say, you know, getting a chiropractic or an osteopathic support or homeopathy. You know, you can't just go out and get one supplement one chiro osteo session or, you know, one meditation or yoga and all of a sudden you're bouncing back to vitality. You know, that's not the point. The point is, is that sometimes changing your wellness and looking at wellness parameters and moving along on that continuum more to where you'd like to be is, I kind of like to describe it, it's like watching grass grow. You know, you could sit there and not see anything happening and you have to develop patience. So, you know, you have to have a measured patience, lots of patience and lots of commitment. And um, we'll talk later on in, in one of our top tips is to know yourself. But, you know, obviously that's different. If you're someone that's very patient or can do uh, take action without needing immediate gratification, um, then that's great. This step is going to be easy for you, isn't it? But for those of you that want to see results right now who've only ever been used to having you know say western medicine where a doctor will give you a drug and you know you'll know fairly quickly within 24 to you know 7 to 10 days if that's helping you typically for some drugs um, if that's your mindset and your experience then this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for you isn't it you know it's not like there's going to be immediate results having said that you know I know lots of people who make wellness choices and we'll talk about dietary choices later but say just removing sugar or caffeine or carbs you know any of the ones that you might be out of balance or your particular physiology and biochemistry is sensitive to you can get quite immediate feelings of wellness can't you you know I know I've got uh, my partner removes carbs from her diet and she immediately feels better she feels stronger you know and she knows that that's a sensitivity for her for her biochemistry but it's also a bit of a challenge because it's attractive to her isn't it does anybody you know put your hand up if you've got something in your life that that's true for you know and once again some of us have a, an ease an easy time with discipline and making those choices and some of us you know have harder time resisting temptation so again the most important point for this tip is to take enough for long enough and that's enough action, enough supplements, enough sessions of your choice, you know, enough of a yoga practice or, 
you know, meditating regularly, whatever your complimentary choice is for wellness, make sure you do enough for long enough and know that the changes can be subtle and they can happen over time. So I'm going to say that again, you need to plan to develop measured patience towards your wellness journey. Now, as I mentioned in the last tip, tip number one, that we do have a quiz and it's a lifestyle quiz really and it gives you some questions, some prompts to help you uh, take a look at where you're at now and possibly where you might want to prioritize making changes. That's a pretty unique and personal thing. Uh, make sure you opt into our blog at uh, www.businessandwellness.com or we're on Facebook. Just opt in, come and talk to us. You know, we like to, it's, it's a place of great passion and excitement for us. So come and join us. We like to see you there and thanks for stopping by today. Have a great day. Bye.